Hello and welcome to the show. We are back here in GTA 5 today with some more racing. Yes, we are going to be climbing around a mountainside apparently. Oh, we're going to start up on the road, are we? Is this? I, there's no way this can go possibly wrong whatsoever. Uh, oh, yeah, this is definitely going to make a big old mess rushing down towards that corner, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> I mean, this is the tradition, as per usual, with the GTA 5 race. How can we mess up the start? Oh crap, I'm probably going to- oh dear. Um, the oh crap, I'm definitely very stuck bit has happened. Uh, we're going to get pushed down the wrong way. I think they're all going to spill out of the house, to be honest with you. Uh, we're supposed to be going off and underway. Let's see if they can actually get across that wall. Stunning. Absolutely stunning, I would say that is. Uh, <laughs> We are back racing. Or so we are we are starting racing. That might be the most useless start we've ever managed to achieve, and that's saying something. Oh, I was sorting out my headset and I took my hand on the controller briefly. Uh, whoopsie. Sorry, Stevie. I mean we put Stevie back the face in the right way, and uh, that's I say all good. It's as good as it can be, given the situation. Uh, so this is a little circuit kind of loops its way around the uh, reservoir area, looping itself up towards uh, the observatory, I think. I think that's what it is up here. Uh, Hopefully, we're going to have like a fun little mountain twisty circuit. Uh, we've got some Sentinels to go racing. I haven't really driven these cars for ages. You often find this only with like the base game cars, if you like, in GTA V. Um, you don't necessarily go back to I guess I see them in Survive the Hunt a little bit. For actual races, races, there's always something faster, something better uh, from the latest setup. It looks like Glisco may have had a controller turn off there. Um, oh no, there's a bit of lag going on from Glisco's car. It's pinging forward and backwards. I just hit the wall and stopped dead. Uh, oh. Yeah, Glisco's got some. Uh, serious uh, blink mobile issues occurring uh, we're going to try to run around the outside of Stevie here uh, we might be able to go and get ourselves to a seventh place we do this is a fast circuit this one oh okay it was a light kiss on the wall we'll get away with that now one of the things you do sometimes get with the older game cars is they are sometimes susceptible a little bit more to uh, to damage so you'll get buckled wheels a little bit more or you'll get heavier damage I don't think the Sentinel does particularly but it is something to watch out for something like the Infernus for example is notoriously bad uh, when it comes to uh, to damage levels there are some exceptions like the Valira for example is the TBR looking thing that's quite bad and that's much newer but that's something to watch out for from these little dings on the uh, on the wall. We're on the inside here of everybody. Got to try not... Just don't want to get pushed towards the hay bale. That's the thing we have got to be wary of uh, down there. This is actually a really fun little circuit. Oh! It's going to be quick through that final corner. Ewan has made an absolute march away at the front. I think Liam must be... Oh! Must be A-OK. -okay. I was trying to... Didn't realise Ladder was on the outside. That is my bad on that. Uh, I was trying to move over because I knew that we are going to have to try to deal with Liam's uh, unfortunately stricken car at the start. And... Yeah, it's, that's slightly my bad. Uh, Lado wasn't to know that I was going to be suddenly moving over like that. However, I also yeah, I didn't have time to check. I should have probably checked, but it happens so very quickly with these races that uh, little mistakes like that do do occur. What have we got running order wise? Ewan is running away at the front. Hyper's up in second. Uh, we are a little bit further back. Now we should rejoin this group. Uh, we race with Slipstream and Catch Up turned on. Because that means, well, if you have a bad first lap, you're not having a very, very boring race stuck at the back. Because let's face it, especially when we do goofy starts, someone's going to have a bad first lap. So it gives it, it makes the racing a little bit more exciting, more entertaining, shall we say. Uh, we're going to bobble some curbs down here. A little bit more jitters uh, going on through here. Oh, Liam has... Oh, Liam's getting a little connection issues as well. Uh, never mind, at least that car will be out of the way Oop, for the next time around. We're going to get a big drop. So this circuit is very, very quick. The slipstream is powerful, but the thing you've got to worry about here is that... Uh, oh, we've got to make a corner going on, which the purple car, well, it does It does just about. It does bounce off. Oh, Stevie's over the barrier. That's that car gone. Oh, let's not have some rain. Oh, I couldn't stop us on two wheels. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just... There was, I, I could not do anything. That's everybody, in fact. Uh, Leathercat was on two wheels. I saw Lado behind was on two wheels. It's all got a little bit hectic in this race. It has had the unfortunate side effect of spreading the entire field out, which is not particularly what we were wanting to be doing. Now, if we can get up to the back of the purple car and we can do a little bit of slipstream train, maybe up towards the leaders, possibly. If they could have issues, that would be helpful, but we now really can't afford to have any more issues. That's a bit too quick through there. Uh... 
I mean, we're kind of just going for it at the moment. We've almost got to at this stage. We're at halfway through the race. Okay, there is still a decent chunk of time to go. But at half distance, we don't really want to be... I think this is not bad to be at half distance, but we're so far back from the leaders. And I do believe my suspension may be a little bit poorly. Uh, I just saw the way it kind of went over that bump, over that crest. Uh, the potentially iffy suspension we have going on. Now we are in the draft of the purple car, which is very good news for me. If we can get up, if we can pass the purple car, and then we can give them draft, and then we can keep swapping, changing, and seeing how that goes, uh, that will help us. Although that's a bad place to try to go around the outside of somebody. Uh, they're going to run a little wide on the exit there. That's fine. Have they got into the draft? Oh no, they hit the tyre bundle. Uh, or the tyre bundle, the hay bale, whatever you want to call it, on the inside. Uh, we're going to ping off of the wall there. I've actually smacked that wall. I've got quite a lot of camber going on the front wheels. That's not very clever. I do see a dot stop moving up ahead. Makes me think we may have had another roller or maybe a spin around. I think this corner here is more likely a spin than a roll because uh, of the way the sort of inside curves are. Uh, this is the corner. Now, I mean, now we've got a little bit less almost knowledge of how quick we can go uh, through these corners. It's wet. No one's driven these corners in the wet at racing speed. Well, those are in the corners in the wet's full stop it, I think. So... Yeah, we are kind of experimenting a little bit. Uh, we've got you and Chris uh, up at the front battling. Hyper's in third. If we can catch up to Hyper, we might be able to do something. It does, uh, unless anyone further back has got... I don't think anyone further back's got the time, really, to do much. I might be the furthest back that stands a chance, but this means I'm going to have to get a perfect lap. This final lap is going to have to be perfect, and honestly, it needs some help. It needs some help from accidents up ahead, uh, realistically, if we're going to make it. Oh, and that's not perfect. I slowed it down. There's not enough. Didn't, I don't know how much I need to slow it down in the rain. We've almost caught up to Hyper's car. If we can slingshot onto the back of the next one. We're going to have to do a lot of teamwork. The podium's definitely not out of the question. Just a win is a long way in the distance. It's starting to brighten up. That's something. You know, that is something. That's bad. That, that's the damage. That's the damage that I did to the car. Uh, stupidly, that's just it bouncing across the floor. It shouldn't do that normally. Uh, if anything, second's fallen back a little bit as well. There's too many running wide moments. I've dinged up the front of my car. I always talk about it a little bit. Um, it's not undrivable. It's only that one corner, really, where we get hit badly by it. Can I get some draft off the back of the car ahead? That's what we need. We've got to be a little bit careful on these curves. We've already seen, I think it's Angus spun. We've seen Acar spin around in front of us before uh, down here. So we've definitely got to be very, very careful. Uh, Get the vehicle slowed down. Let's not add any more damage to the car. It's already poorly enough as it is. I don't really want to hurt it anymore. Uh, it's, I don't need another issue with the... It's kind of like the front end's bottoming out. It's like it's lost all its suspension travel. Uh, we've got a really good run down here. I mean, we are going to be in the draft. We are going to get the toe at least towards these final cut few corners. Uh, that time is much neater through there. We're onto the back of Hyper's car now. Hyper has hit the wall and gone for a tumble. That is probably Hyper out of contention uh, realistically now for the podium. Can I go chasing after that car in second? No, I don't think so. I think, sadly, it's all got a little bit spread out around here. Surprising, it doesn't normally end up in this way. Um, I, th I think the curves may have caught a few people out. I think a few cars may have gone for some big old rolls around here that uh, just didn't quite recover. Yeah, I mean, we've climbed, we've gone quickly, but it's not going to be enough for anything more than third. I mean, it could have been it could have been worse. Still not got that final corner right. Ewan takes victory. Chris will take second. We are going to come across the line in a third place. Yeah, it could have been a worse outcome for me. Could have been better. Had we had a better start, made less mistakes and all that, probably would have been a better outcome. Uh, what is the fastest lap is going to be a curious one. I think someone further back will have got a lot of slipstream for a lap. Uh, currently it sits at me at a 156.2. I wonder if anybody will further back have had a good slipstream session. I feel like some slipstream you could probably uh, do. It's a good pass for Stevie on the line to uh, overtake possibly Scotty for position there. I, I will get fastest lap. I presume for that final lap, probably. Um... That's a fun circuit. That's a very quick circuit. Overtaking is difficult and it is bloody dangerous, especially when it starts to rain halfway through. A podium, though, not a terrible start for me. So, for our second race around this circuit, we've gone for something a little bit faster, the uh, LG Retro Custom. We've got an extra lap to uh, try and, well, survive around the circuit without having a massive accident. 
hopefully we can go better than third, really. That's what we are... That's what we're aiming for in this one. Of course, we start on pole, being the host. Oh! And we've been put the right way. <laughs> Fortunately, poor purple car on the inside did not come off quite so lucky. Uh, a lot of cars filtering. Oh, God. I don't really want to get that airtime. I feel like there is technically a slightly quicker line across there, although at the opening of the race, I'm almost happy to keep all of my wheels on the ground. I feel like that might be the way to go. Uh, Ewan is apparently enjoying this track, having shot up at the front once again in this race. Can we get... Oh, no. Not going to get a pass done to the inside there. Uh, we'll try and get into the draft of Glisker's car. Now, these should be a little bit more planted. Uh, admittedly, the conditions are now better as well. I think they're all-wheel drive. I don't actually know. Uh, they are pretty pretty grippy cars from what I remember. Uh, don't be too quick. So it's really easy to get carried away when you're in the draft, as Stevie has found out further back. Uh, really, really easy to get carried away when you're in the draft in these, because they are so very quick. Uh, you're going to have to brake earlier when you're behind the car ahead, just because you're having so much more speed uh, as we are on you and now. Oh! Angus has got to the inside and does get it done. I was kind of hoping there wasn't going to be a pass done there, but uh, we got away with it cleanly. It was an aggressive pass. It's now going to be three wide. Oh, Ewan's up on there. We've seen rolling over issues before. Did you get a bump from behind? Possibly. I don't know. We're busy having our own little fight here. Uh, we're going to be... Oh, there's a car to our inside. Oh, Ewan goes through the middle. I am backing out of that one because if I don't, there's going to be a big old crash. Uh, can we have a look? We are now to the middle here. Not going to find the space that we want in that... Well, we are going to find the space we want. We might be able to get to the inside around this final corner. The run to the finish line here is going to be super interesting because there's not really much time. It's a very, very fast, very fast run, and you don't have much time for a slipstream pass there. It's all about that final corner almost. That's the bit that's going to matter. Uh, we're out wide through turn one. We're in this draft of Hyper again coming up the hill. Oh, get a little bit of lag. A little bit of the lag jitters, but nothing terrible. Nothing we can't control, shall we say. A hyper bumps the wall. And we are on the climb. Oh, up the hill. Oh, there's cars sneaking past. There's cars sneaking through and around and overtaking and everything. We get another bit of a bump from behind. <laughs> They're getting away with light contact at the moment. Now, this is probably not going to last, and that's a concern, of course, is that we've got away with all this stuff on the opening laps. What's going to happen on the final laps? You know that light contact on a final lap is going to screw us over completely, because... That's what happens in GTA. Glitz is going to be super brave to try and hold that one around the outside. Glitz does make it work as well through there. There's a lot of cars lining up behind us now as we race down the hill. Uh, we'll get back into the draft. Plenty of gravity assistance down there. Uh, I wonder if the downhill bit... Oh! Ugh. Christ! So many cars. We try to squeeze past in all of that. Um... <laughs> Three wide down that hill at those sorts of speed is questionable. Uh, I mean, I got away with it a little bit. This was a smidge unlucky. Oh, we've all got checked up in that. As I think maybe Hyper was trying to wait behind you and I ended up pushing Hyper. There was a little bit of a kerfuffle, I think, is the way to describe all of that. Uh, this was leading that group behind and they're not all that far back either. Uh, where did you get a pass done? Here, go on, Angus. Oh, Hyper's trying to go to the outside. Me and Scotty have decided to just... Nope. Nope. None of that is a good idea basically. Oh, there's definitely room for some form of slipstream run. Uh, this race has been absolutely bonkers. It's been brilliant, but it has been mad so far. Uh, we've got a lot of cars very quick, very, very close together at the moment, and that's always asking for trouble. I think Scotty got a... Oh, Angus has gone out the banking, I presume... Uh, oh, Angus has gone up the banking. The worst bit is it rolled back down across and into the track. That has broken up the group a little bit. Uh, that's unfortunate. I presume probably spun off the nose of one of the cars up ahead. Uh, it's maybe changed direction too quick, or yeah, it's hard, hard to tell. This is not quite going to work through there. That was always going to be a little bit too ambitious, a little too much speed at a very, very narrow point on the circuit. Uh, we are now leading the way. We have got Chris and Longbow, I think are lining up behind us here with a red car. That may well be uh, Danger Man back there, having a look, trying to find a way to catch up. Uh, 
or trying to find a way back to recover. Uh, I think they're ahead of us. I don't actually remember. Are we flat through here? Ooh, we are. That's a lot of grip in this. It's a lot of grip. Also, we are slightly slower. Let's not forget we are the leader, so we have the full effects of catch-up slowing us down a little bit. Sometimes that's not too bad, owing to the fact that we, well, you know, can be flat out all the way down here because we're going a little slower. Uh, we're going to have... Uh, we're not going to have a nice peaceful time of it, I can tell you that much. Uh, we've got... Oh, Danger Bear was good. I'm not quite sure why the outside was the place to go to there. Um, I had no idea there was a car going to the outside until it was far, far too late. Gliska had a look to the inside. We couldn't quite... Oh, there wasn't quite the space. And this is the problem we've got now with so many cars close together going so quickly that you make a judgment call, you make a guesswork as to where to put your car, and it changes in these fractions of seconds. Uh, these are, like, the allergies, they're quick. They're not normally too bad for that sort of stuff. Uh, but they are, they can have, uh, anything can have problems when you're trying to, uh, oh, well, I found a lamppost for all of that. Uh, well, we've just about got it back on the road. That was one of the classic, um, just, there's nowhere to go. There's nothing I could do about that. I say it was, it was technically my mistake. It was my mistake on my own. The problem is just how the car pings off. Much like Angus fell down the hill back in front of the traffic. It's just where the car ends up being pinged back out again. That's a purple car out very, very wide through there. If you do get that corner wrong, you're in a lot of trouble. There's a big old squabble up ahead. If you lose momentum, actually, around here, you are in so much trouble because it's such a fast circuit. Uh, we can get to the inside of Chris here. Uh, we will run... Oh, side by side all the way down the hill. I was hoping we were going to get the pass done before we got to the corner. I'm going to have to lift because I don't want to end up out as wide as they are as they're bouncing across the dirt and the car park over there. Uh, oh, we were... Well, we gave Danger Man just enough room on the... I mean, there was just enough room. They ran a little bit wide. Everyone's got away with it, though. Everyone is fine at this moment in time. We have a little bit of a lift all the way around there uh, as we sit in the draft. So Ewan is with us. I think that's Chris further back. We've got one more lap of this mess. One more lap of this mayhem. I've done exactly the same thing again when I was going to try and change sides. I, I can't... <laughs> I was trying to set up where to go for the battle ahead. God, you need... You really do need a rearview mirror of some sorts at times in this, especially when you're in cars this quick at a circuit this quick. Uh, we've helped Scotty through that corner a little bit. Um, we've got a mega run here. It's going to be... I mean, it's four wide across the finish line there. I would have ended up fourth by the end of that. Oh, Chris has run through to the lead of the race. Angus came off the post at turn one and spun in front of us. Uh, again, unfortunate for them. And that, um, the worst bit is, is that because it's now on the final lap, there's just no time to recover. You can't get back from that. You are out of luck. Um, oh, Lado has managed to explode around this circuit. Uh, we've got a good run here, but i got nowhere to go Ooh, with it. <laughs> Ewan went to give us a help with our good run. Uh, thankfully backed out of it in time. Uh, oop, got nothing I can do really here. We're just going to sit behind Scotty. Uh, they're fighting side by side, and this track is not wide enough at this sort of speed for us to be any more than too wide, really. Danger Man is going to be to the outside. Oh, Scotty gets a big oversteer moment. Ewan's to the inside of me. We're trying not to spin Scotty. Ewan's trying not to spin us as we're all battling for that same small piece of tarmac. Bumpy's come to join in the fun as well. I think Gliska might catch before the end of the race for the way we're battling at the moment. Because, of course, we have to have big lifts because, well, it's three wide up ahead and no one's got anywhere to go. Uh, oh, there's a lot of paint swapping is currently going on. Ewan might be able to go round in front of Scotty. Uh, Scotty just can't get on the brakes in time when that one happens. Uh, just too many cars in that very, very small space. So we're down to Chris, Danger Man, me, Gliska. I don't know what happened to Bumpy. Uh, may have made a mistake in the oh, following train. Uh, that time we have got a car to the inside. Come on, let's get the draft. Let's get the draft off the corner. We've got the draft on Danger Man. Have we got the draft at the right time on Chris? Well, it doesn't matter in the end. Uh, we end up pointing the wrong way. Gliska was trying to get to the inside. I think I actually might have bobbled up into the air off of that one. Unfortunate. Uh, do not know what way we're doing. I've got a big old pull on Ewan. Not quite. Almost made it. Almost made it to the back of Ewan's car. We just ran out of time a little bit on that one. But there we go. We will cross the finish line in a fifth position. Fast enough to go to Stevie down in ninth place. Uh, that is a ridiculous circuit. Uh, so quick. So quick. Really, really good fun. Difficulty is he's just got so many cars around such a small area. And the tiniest little movement can start off that big chain reaction crash. Um, so, yeah, it is interesting, to say the least. Where the hell? We're a long way away from 
where we were racing. I think it was all the way up the north of the map for that. Anyway, that was good fun. Manic, completely and utterly bonkers, but it was very good fun. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much to Pone for building this uh, wonderful high-speed circuit, and thank you all very much for watching. That shall be it from me. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.